Uh, I can explain. There is no way Mew was under that truck. Mew, the very first mythical Pokemon, has had a very interesting history. One that you could even describe as mythical? So Mew is number 151 in the Pokedex. A truly special extra Pokemon that wasn't even going to be present in the games until the last minute, when Shigeki Morimoto snuck it in as a sick prank. Of course, in the future, Mew would be officially acknowledged and more widely available. But back then, its mere existence was a huge rumor. The most famous rumor being that it was hidden under a truck. This truck is present off to the side when boarding the SS Anne. The rumors would go that if you could get to the truck and use strength on it, either Mew would appear, or it would unlock a Team Rocket hideout where you could then obtain Mew. Of course, this was just a load of barnacles. But it was believable enough to spread around just as any gaming urban legend would in the early days of the internet. It is actually the perfect rumor. Mew did genuinely exist in the games, and it could be obtained through glitches that are now pretty well known and reproducible in every copy of the game, even with the virtual console ports. Of course, if you had an external cheating device for the Game Boy back then, you could also obtain a Mew through that. The mere existence of Mewtwo, a clone of the mythical Pokemon, and some great optional storytelling and diary entries that outright name drop Mew only fueled the fire for anyone who didn't have one. Of course, later, Game Freak would have various distribution events where players could obtain a Mew in their personal copies of the games, which we are all too familiar with nowadays. But let's say you're just a kid playing Game Boy on the playground. You've never owned a cheating device, you've never seen any glitches, and you've never heard of any Pokemon events. How do you get Mew? And that's where the truck comes in. Whoever started the truck rumor was actually a bit of a genius, uh, just a bit. Even though this could be easily disproved by actually standing in front of the truck, everything else around the rumor made it enticing and plausible. This is the only vehicle we see in the entire game. In fact, to this day, it still is one of the very few that we see in the entire franchise. Aside from public transportation like ships, trains, or buses, which we see in every generation, the only other cars or trucks in Pokemon have been the moving truck in Ruby and Sapphire, a truck seen on the Sky Arrow Bridge, and one seen on Route 4 in Black and White, and one in Flockacy Town in Black 2 and White 2. And so, this truck immediately stands out. But the craziest thing is that normally you can't even see this truck when boarding the SSN. It is just out of frame, and this area is inaccessible after the ship sets sail. There are of course ways to reach this area. If you obtain the HM for cut and lose to a trainer on the ship, you'll be sent back to a Pokemon Center and the event that causes the ship to set sail will not activate. Then you just need to come back once you have Surf and head to the truck. So this part first off is great because if somebody hears about this rumor after they've obtained three gym badges, which is pretty early on in the game, there's no way for them to reach the truck because the ship will already be gone. They'd have to restart the game with the knowledge beforehand. But let's say some poor gullible soul actually does do this. Once they get to the truck, now what? Well, the rumors would usually say that you need to use the HM strength on the truck but that clearly does nothing. From this point, you can make up any other arbitrary reason for the event not activating. Like saying, oh, you need this one specific item, or oh, you need to be the champion or complete the Pokedex or literally whatever. People would end up continuing a wild goose chase until they either exhaust every option, give up, or realize that they've been lied to, which is the least likely. And so the rumor continued to spread and now it's just a funny little thing to look back on. Game Freak is well aware of these rumors. And so in the Kanto remakes of Fire Red and Leaf Green, they hit a lava cookie nearby. Why a lava cookie of all things, I couldn't tell you. But I hardly think this is a cool enough reward. In Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, the truck still remains and is very easy to get to. There's nothing here, but it's pretty cool they decided to keep it. In modern times, the only Pokemon related rumors we see all happen before the game even releases. And the wonder around mythical Pokemon isn't really there because they're more clearly available and known by fans. The only wonder around them is wondering which retail store paid the most to have it distributed through their lame website, or wondering if you'll get a newsletter with Pokemon in time with your code. However, when it comes down to it, the Mew being under the truck rumor is just so dumb. Yeah, it is fun to look back on it as a moment in Pokemon history, but it was literally children spreading misinformation to other children. I think Mew itself being a mystery was a great idea because people could keep talking about the game and could eventually come back whenever the official distribution would actually happen. But taking advantage of that mystery set up by the developers just to be an ass is not cool. Funny how that applies to modern times as well. And so, that was the legend of Mew and the truck. But if you ask me, the real mystery is why is there only one truck in the entire Kanto region? 
Thank you to all my channel members who make videos like this possible, especially Justin R, Mr. Pig Puncher, and Quago. If you want to support and have your name shouted out here, you can become a channel member as well, and get access to some cool emotes for comments and live streams that I'm very proud of. You can also follow me on Twitter for more memes. But anyway, this has been Gatorx, and I'll catch you later. It's Mew versus Mewtwo in the Ultimate Pokemon Showdown. Now for sale on video cassette and DVD. Pokemon, the first movie, plus an all-new Mewtwo game card inside every video. You can catch it all on video cassette and DVD. Rated G. Just a nice, long, relaxing cruise. We could never afford a cruise like that. Oh.